Now put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Rick Springfield.
Thank you very much. You guys are making fun of me backstage about this shirt. What do you think? Yeah, no? I'm a little unsure myself, but I thought I'd leave it up to you guys. I can take it off if you want. So believe it or not, and even in the happiest place on earth, I, I still suffer from depression. And um, uh, I uh, actually won an award for being depressed. That's pretty cool, right? Because uh, I started talking about it and they actually uh, gave me an award because I was making it, uh, people aware that you can still have a successful life and still have to deal with depression. It doesn't have to drive you under. And I've tried my best to, uh, to turn that to turn that darkness into something positive. Um, now I'm from Australia, I don't know how many you know that I'm actually Australian. Even in Australia they refer to me as Australian American, Rex. <laughs> but I'm an American citizen, I became an American citizen because I love this country. And also because I wanted to be eligible for jury duty. <laughs> Couldn't miss that. Anyway, so this is the first song I wrote about my depression. It's from 1986. A lot of you may not be familiar with this one, but you should be. It's called World Start Turning. I got into the alcohol business with my buddy Sammy Hagar. 
And if we had our screens up, you'd see Sammy singing on this, but uh, you're going to hear him, but you won't actually see him this time, because they've got the lovely Garden Rocks, uh, Rick Springfield up there. And, uh... Is Mickey showing up there yet? I thought they might have put Mickey up there. So anyway, we have a, a, beach bar, uh, a rum called Beach Bar Rum, right? And it's very delicious, and I, I urge you to go get it, though... I don't really because, you know, you can't do that kind of thing. I mean, it's, it's play, you know, it's just, it, it's, uh, anyone seen my, heard my radio show? Yeah. I'm sure. So you know I have ADD, right? So like, boo! I just start thinking about something completely else and had nothing to do with the song. But I wrote a song about it and it's called Party at the Beach Bar. And it goes something like this. Actually, it goes exactly like this.
real.